Okay, let's take a look at my new book, Moved by a Mountain, subtitled Inspiration from an Alpine View in Alaska. These are all photographs taken from my cabins uh, overlooking Kachemak Bay. This particular copy is a pre-publication copy, number 158 of 200, embossed and signed. I spend a uh, one page just describing the work that I do. And then comes the foreword by Tom Thomas Campbell, who uh, I mentioned in my TEDx presentation. Ex excellent foreword. And the first photograph from my cabins of uh, what I call the throne room, an old cirque in the middle of the Dixon Glacier. Continuing on to the text, another view from the cabin and a view, uh, a typical pastoral view that is so incredible in that Homer area and, and that kind of view that uh, led me to decide to move there. This text is all about me finding the place and building the cabins as a young man, a young adventurer coming from a, uh, being a whitewater guide. I built the cabin on a road called Moonrise Street, so the apropos photograph of the moon rising out of the glacier. Little photographs are all about the story. There's me uh, trimming off the tops of my log pilings. And the right side is features uh, full page photographs. So these are basically portraits of the mountains I see in various qualities of light and arrangements of clouds. These are the cabins that I built, my first one and then the second one built of all the beetle kill logs that I had to cut down. The view without any telephoto lens directly from the balcony of the log cabin. And uh, there's a moose right out my front door uh, and a photograph of the cabin, the, the new cabin. And at this point in the text I shift to inquiring what we mean when we talk about inspiration. That view being so inspiring, it drew me up into it, and I describe a trip up on the ice field, and uh, I describe the mysterious quality of being able, able to see mountains through holes in clouds. Inquiring about uh, what it means for a view to be inspiring, and uh, coming to a conclusion that uh, it's, you know, like divine information. It's uh, a message from the source of the creator of all reality, indicating to us uh, what we need to do with our lives, who we need to be, what qualities we need to, to uh, aspire to. A lot of mist and fog in the book, creating a dramatic quality to the mountains. And here's the end of the text, and then moving on to the second half of the book, which is divided by this two-page spread of the throne room. And then we shift into this beautiful, rich, warm, gray color of the pages with uh, quotes from uh, important thinkers on the left and uh, full-page photographs on the right. This is the section of the book I call the gallery. This quote from uh, an echo psychologist, uh, Joseph Campbell, Rousseau, more fog and mist, very dramatic photograph, Krishnamurti, Robert McFarlane wrote a book called Mountains of the Mind, which is an important book about uh, what mountains mean to men. John Muir, and even a quote from a movie that I like a lot, life is not measured by the breaths you take, but by the moments that take your breath away. A Tibetan Buddhist teacher, Zen master, and a modern uh, biochemist, I think he is. Meditation teacher. I Ching, here's the only diptych in the book. Marshall Summers and myself. 
talking about those moments when a mountain peaks out of a, a hole in the clouds and how astonishing that is. The end of the book is a real homey couple of pages with a quote by my neighbor about how good it feels to see uh, the throne room. And then uh, the last page is just a list of sources for the quotes and uh, a little bit about myself. The back cover blurbs, which hopefully you already have. Thanks for taking a look.